All right, so computing L2 errors for uh, linear problems or linear approximations. So uh, add a section break and uh, we'll just copy in uh, this L2 error. So uh, what is the L2 error? Well, the L2 error basically is just, you can type it in here. So it's an integral, you can call it L2 and it is a uh, definite integral between a and b and it is our approximate solution that is uh, capital U uh, minus our exact solution which is lowercase u uh, squared and uh, integrated in this whole domain dx like so that is what we have now in order to compute this using our uh, numerical values we need uh, we need a way of doing this so uh, the way we're going to do this is we want to uh, integrate this for each element and for each Gauss point uh, that means that uh, what we will be doing is 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 computing the following we will take our uh, element k here and we will compute uh, we will evaluate u in um, the Gauss point which is c here and we will take that minus u of the exact point x of c so uh, the exact function of course can only be evaluated in x so we need to be need, it needed to be evaluated in the same point and the same point is of course if we take the uh, c point uh, inside of x uh, that's the physical uh, representation of, of c and we take that squared and uh, actually, no, hold on, put it here, squared, and the, um, we will integrate this in C. So, so this is the L2 error for, for, um, for the element, L2 error element. like so and um, this is supposed to be square root no can't do that all right let's do it like this so this is actually the L2 error this is the square root of that as well so um, now I of course I have to write this differently so I do L2 is the uh, square root of the definite sum of all elements so we do i until n for all elements and we add up the le i like so so we add all of these for every element and we take the square root out of that that's what we're going to do so we will start um, so we call this integral i and set it to zero and then we loop over all elements for iel is equal to one to n and in order to, to 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 get the point x we need the the exact coordinates of that point so we need i naught first to get the uh, nodes uh, nodes iel uh, so there we go and then we need the x coordinates. X C is x naught. What am I writing? I naught. I mean. So all the coordinates. Uh, H, the element size is going to be x C and minus x C one. So that's the size. And then now, so x, the coordinate at this point C. Uh, in fact, um, depending on the order 
of our girls. I need to do this. I need to add add, uh, add this up. So uh, I will I will have I R equal to zero. Set that to zero, and then we shall loop over all Gauss points. I G is equal to one to length I G. And now we create C G P I G is equal to. So that's our C, and then our W I, our weight, is going to be G V I G. Like so. Okay, now I can get the x. So x is just a parametric map. So I take v of c and I multiply this by xc. So this is the midpoint of my x. Uh, yeah, because I have only one, one uh, Gauss point in this case. So and that this would hold for uh, for higher order um, uh, evaluations as well. Okay, so now I can take the UE, the exact function. You know, UE is this function, of course, here, and I can I can take this function in 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 this x. So that there there we have that, and I need to I need to replace this. As a double, so I call this UE and then do double on this, so it will just become a uh, double numerical value uh, or a numerical value, just a f instead of a symbolic value, it's it's now uh, completely uh, native to MATLAB. Okay, so once I have this, mm, can do the uh, the approximate. UA, which is also a parametric map. So the phi of C times uh, U and I naught. So I'll take the, for every element, so I'm in this element currently, I will take U in the nodes and I will evaluate whatever this is in the midpoint. So it's linear interpolation basically. So this is this value here. So now I have two values. I have the exact value and I have the approximate value. And we can see that they're pretty close, but not exact, of course. So now what I can do is, of course, take the, the um, add up this error, IER, is equal to IER plus, and I want to do U A minus U E and then square this. And of course, if I want to integrate this, I need to multiply this by h and then the, uh, the, the vector. Now I have, I have this integral here. This, this is what I have at the very end, once this for loop is done. So here. This is my vector. And down here, I of course just add i is equal to i plus i e r. I can, oh, of course, I could do this in one go, but I just want to show that this is the element integral, and then for every element, I add up this here. So this stuff is the same as this stuff, and of course, when, once I'm done with all of them, I take the square root out of this, so I can do l2 r is equal to square root of i. And this is my my final my final alt R two L two error. Okay, so the question now is, uh, what happens if um, we increase the number of elements? This this was the question at the very beginning here. Now, solve using four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two elements. Plot the L two error versus the mesh size. For each refinement okay so we need to save we need to save h and we need to save uh, this stuff in um, in a variable and uh, I, will, I will run this i will modify my um, i will modify n to 4 and i will f5 
run all uh, and I, I will just you know here I will just write h is equal to and a vector and I will just look here what is h currently oh that's 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 and uh, l2 r is equal to a vector and look at what what this value is and call it l perhaps and uh, yeah I can probably just um, oh well I don't, I, don't, I don't copy this value in here um, but I'm afraid that um, I will miss a couple of um, because this is now truncated uh, or pro probably rounded uh, I don't I don't want to make it too complicated I want to open this value so I can do this for every value here I have L2 error here it's, it's symbolic currently so I have to I have to rerun this again so now it's a numerical value so L2 error is numeric so I can open this by double clicking and I can just copy and once I've done that I can remove this window and just paste this in here and it will be pasted completely okay so now I go up and I run this again uh, eight elements and what I should see here if I run all of this is that my h value here is uh, is uh, of course overwritten hmm. uh, that's bad I'll call this h h run this and I can see that my age now is 0 0.25 so that's just half of this 0 0.25 and uh, my L2 error if I go in here I can copy this in there and then I can continue this process a couple of more times 16 and then of course half of this is going to be I can just type 0 0.25 and half it right and then once more 0 0.25 over 4 uh, and I can grab grab this again throw it in here run one more time at 32 and we can already see that this gets quite low copy and paste so now we can actually plot this so what we will do is take a new figure figure and we can do just plots we can do h h and l and then maybe do a uh, line black like so and we can see here that this goes down all right so uh what can we do with this well we can do it log 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 if you run this it's a log log scale so you can do log log and then the same stuff like so run this and we have a log log scale so it's log on x and log on y and we can do grid on this so now we can see here that we have a line uh, and we can do x is equal like so and we want to know what the um, uh, what the rate of convergence is um, okay so let's take a step back so what are we plotting we are plotting how much the error 
is decreasing with the number of elements or rather how much the error here the, this is the error on the y-axis is decreasing with the element size uh, there is a theoretical um, a value here that is says that this is supposed to decrease quadratically with the number of elements I will do x label and I will call this mesh size h and y label and this is the error l2 error Okay, so we have the mesh size and we have the L, L2 error here. And now what we want to find out is how much is this decreasing? What is the rate here? What is the slope of this line in the logarithmic space? And in order to find out, we have to get the delta x divided by the delta y. Uh, to get the delta of something, we can do uh, diff because if, if you look at what we have here, if we do log hh or log uh, l so these are the logarithmic values and then we take the delta meaning the difference between these two these two and these two we can do this by doing diff so these are the different differences and we can see that differences are the same so the error is decreasing by the same amount in every step so if we take this and we divide this by the same thing uh, in h, so log h or h h, yeah, to h. So we are dividing uh, every element by every other element in here. We get that there is a factor of two. So we we see how much the error is affected by the mesh size. If we half the element, and the, the the error decreases uh, by. Um, uh, quadratically uh, and we can do this uh, for quadratic elements as well and see uh, what number we get there so that's it so we have shown the l2 error for every uh, for every element and we did a convergence analysis here